what i am gonna do is show you how to create your own free custom ringtones using itunes for your iphone it's really easy and it only takes a few seconds so what you're going to want to do first is find the mp3 that you want to use mine conveniently is right here on the desktop once you find it right click it and copy it and then i want you to paste it directly on the desktop now the reason why you do this is to avoid making any modifications to the original, so we're only going to mess with the copy. Now once you have the copy, go ahead and open up your iTunes and make sure the music is clicked under library. And you're going to grab that copy and drag and drop it right in the music section. So as you can see, it's right here, Without You by Matt Toga. <coughs> And now what you're going to want to do is I suggest that you get a pen and paper so that you can write down the times that you would like to start your ringtone and what times you'd like it to stop. It's just a lot easier that way. So go ahead and listen to your song and figure out the time frames which you'd like to start and stop it. For the sake of time, I'm going to make mine start at about 19 seconds. And end about 40, making it about 21 seconds long. Yours can be anything from 20 to 30, even 40 seconds. It's really up to you. So once you do that, go ahead and press pause. And then go to your song title, right click it, and select get info. Now go over to the options tab, and then you're going to see start time and stop time. I want you to make sure both of those are checked. And under start time, put the time that you chose your ringtone to start. Mine was 0, colon, 19 seconds. And the stop time was 0, colon, 40 seconds. So remember, make sure both are checked, and then select OK. Now, once you've done that, if you replay the song, you're going to hear that the only thing that plays are those seconds that you chose. So once you listen to it, go ahead and press pause. And then go back to the song, right click it, and you're going to want to go down to create AAC version. I know other iTunes, they might say convert to AAC or something along those lines. That's fine. Just create AAC version. You do not want to create a ringtone. So once you find the AAC version, go ahead and click that. And what you see, it's going to make a copy right here with the amount that you chose your ringtone to be. Mine was 21 seconds. <coughs> so now we're only going to mess with that one. So go ahead and click that one. And you're going to want to right click it one more time and go to show in Windows Explorer. Now you'll see a window pop up and you'll see your MPEG, your audio file right here. And it should say the song title .m4a. If you do not see .m4a, <clears throat> what I want you to do is go to Start, Control Panel, Classic View, and then find your folder options. Mine is right here. And then once in Folder Options, go to View, scroll down a little bit, and right here where it says Hide Extensions for Known File Types, make sure that is unchecked. So if it's checked, uncheck it, click apply, then click OK. X that out, and now it should say your song title .m4a. <clears throat> Once you see that, I want you to open back up your iTunes and make sure that ringtones is clicked. If for some reason you do not see ringtones, I want you to go up to edit, preferences, and under the general tab, under show, where movies, TV, podcasts, audiobooks, etc. are, I want you to see on the right-hand side, it says ringtones. Make sure ringtones is checked. And then click OK. Now you should see ringtones right here under library. Once you do that, go back to your MPEG file. I want you to right-click it and rename. Now all I want you to change is the last letter. So instead of it saying .m, for a, I want it to say .m for r. R is in rabbit, Roger, river. So it should say your song title .m for r. 
once it does click away and then it'll say do you want to change it yada 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 say yes and now your file it should be a ringtone file and not an mpeg so once you see that go ahead and open back up your itunes and i want you to drag the ringtone folder right into the ringtone section in your library now you'll see it is right here in your ringtones right here 21 seconds long without you matt toka now once it's there all you do is you sync it as you would anything else that you've synced to your iphone before devices ringtones sync ringtones you can either go with all or just the one that you just made apply sync you know the usual how you would like i said anything else and that does it um i hope that helped you and again thanks for watching